Hello, I'm Gary Cleveland with Cleveland Helicopter Services here in Plymouth, Indiana. And this video is going to be on low rotor RPM recovery. And it is so important to understand that RPM in your rotor system is life. As we talked about in a previous video uh, entitled Blade Coning, the rigidity of the blades to support the weight of the helicopter is totally dependent upon uh, the revelations per minute or the RPM. There is a point of no return if a pilot fails to act when he has low rotor RPM in order to restore the proper rotor RPM. The action that the pilot must take is lower collective roll on throttle. This has to be an automatic response by the pilot. It needs to be a muscle memory and many flight instructors will multiple times roll the throttle down on you to see that you have that automated response of rolling on throttle and lowering collective. This is the cyclic controlled by the right hand. This is the collective controlled by the left hand. The collective is in the up position right now, as if I was in forward flight, normal cruise. If I was to get low rotor RPM, I would need to immediately lower the collective sum and roll on throttle. Again, low rotor RPM, I'm going to lower collective, roll on throttle. Now, it is possible that the aircraft could already be at full throttle. And the lower collective part is what's going to help you to get the RPMs back. But still, it's all about muscle memory. It's about lower collective, roll on throttle without thinking. If you go to roll on throttle and it's already full throttle, so be it. You're giving it that twist. You're lowering the collective to get those RPMs back in the green. Now, We'll take a peek here at the Enstrom panel so that you know what I'm talking about as far as uh, low RPMs or in the green. This is your RPM gauge. There is two needles. One has an R on it, and that is a shorter needle, and one is slightly longer and thinner. That's the engine RPM. And so over here, we have an operating range. The longer needle, longer skinnier needle, is the engine RPM. It has a very narrow operating range, around 3000. You'll see that the rotor operating range is a larger green area. Now in normal flight those two needles are joined. The only time that the engine needle would not be joined with the rotor needle is in the event of a transmission failure or an engine failure. Then it is important to keep the rotor RPM in the larger green area rotor RPM is life. If you were to drop below the operating range, the Enstrom has an alarm that will sound to caution you. That's when the pilot should roll on, throttle, lower collective, a condition response. Robinsons also have an alarm that goes off to indicate low rotor RPM. Some older aircraft do not have an alarm. It is up to the pilot to recognize characteristics of low RPM, which could be possibly abnormal vibrations. It could be a retreating blade stall, as we talked in the retreating blade stall video. So I hope this has been helpful for you to understand the importance of maintaining 
your RPM in the operating range and the importance of knowing to roll on throttle and lower collective anytime you experience low rotor RPM. It has to be a conditioned response. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.